good morning, everyone, and uh, welcome back um, to the public hearings of the TRRC. Imam, you have the floor. If you can offer some prayers, please. Thank you very much, Chair. Bismillahi Rahman Rahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Rahman Rahim Maliki Yawmiddin. Iyya kanabudu wa iyya kanastain. Ihidina sirat al-mustaqim. Sirat al-lijina alam ta'alim. Qayr al-bahdubi alim wa al-dhalin. Rabbana atmim lana nurana wa kaffarana shayi'atina wa tawaffana ma'ar labrar. Rabbana atina ma wa atana ala rusulika wa la tukhuzina yawm al-qiyamati inna ka la tuflihul mi'ad. Huwarmati Allahumma fasalli wa sallim wa barik ala hazihin nabiyul kareem. Sayyidi sanadil azim zul qalbi rahim sayyidina muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallama tasliman. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasanatan wa fi lakhilati hasanatan wa aqina azab al-nar. Subhan rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifuna wa salamun ala al-musalin. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin. Amin ya. Amin. Shukran Imam Jala. Bishop, you have the floor, please. Thank you, Chairman. Most Holy God, Father of all masses, the creator of all humankind throughout the whole face of the globe in your image and in your likeness. We continue to call upon you that you look kindly upon all human beings throughout the whole face of the globe, that you grant us heart of mercy heart of love, heart of sympathy, heart of forgiveness, heart of empathy, and heart of goodness. We continue to submit the witnesses that will come to the TRRC today and pray that by your divine grace and mercy that you shall enable them to speak the truth and also grant the commission the designing spirit to design between truth and falsehood, and also grant uh, the population in this nation, the Gambia, the diaspora, and the international community, grant them the willpower, the patience, to allow the due process to take its proper course. And at the end of it all, you shall grant the reward. This we ask through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Uh, thank you very much, um, uh, Bishop um, uh, Madiko. Council, um, uh, you may proceed if you're ready with this morning's witness. Uh, good morning, Mr. Chairman, Commissioners, and members of the audience. We are ready to proceed with this morning's witness. Thank you. Thank you. I love in charge. I love in charge. Do swear that. Do swear that. I'll speak the truth. I'll speak the truth. The whole truth. The whole truth. And nothing but. And nothing but the truth. So help me God. So help me God. <coughs> Good morning, Mr. Chairman. Morning, sir. Uh, welcome to the TRRC. Yes, again. Uh, yes, again. This is your second trip here. Yes, sir. Uh, so you know the drill? Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, in which language would you wish your testimony to be interpreted into? 
to be interpreted into mm -hmm. Mandinka. Mandinka. Yes, sir. Okay. Mandinka boot, are we ready? Uh, Mr. Witness, uh, you've just taken a note to speak the truth. Yes, sir. Uh, may I remind Hade. you that it's a criminal offense to provide false or misleading information to the TRRC or, or and also to lie on the oath. <laughs> TRRC nyati ni wale jang yena na kumasoto balofo waranto yena komisong filindi ubiye mkule ni miyano kulu wati nyale Yes sir Good You are called upon today to testify about a few things Ye kumande jang bi purkana sedan rode di jang kudantang kono That mainly concerning the police diaries Abe okono wale mnyiti police hola diary ike la kuwale safa damiando and the treatment of the Ghanaians who are detained at the Banjul police station. And the Ghanaian bank is not able to get out of the way, but the Ghanaian bank is not able to get out of the way, and the Ghanaian bank is not able to Are you ready to proceed? Yes, sir. Ah. Um, in the year 2005, you were working at the Banjul Police Headquarters, correct? Yes, sir, at the Major Crime Squad. Well, uh, Major Crime Squad, Could you remind the Commission how you came into contact uh, with the three Ghanaians who are detained at the station? First, Commission Keno ranyari lewa rubi doko la polisi la ukora baro ni gani yana banku din sabo ni ni nyoso ranyari le. On that fateful day, walungo la, I received a telephone call from my OC Malamin Sise. Mole nkumandi mmo na nyato ngoti OC Malamin Sise nkumandi telephone la. That there are some Ghanians. Who were intercepted along Bara? Menu ya longo iban iben tunte ma ke muta Bara jengjengola. And they have been transported to the navy. Andu ibe sambakang na ba kono sojaro la kordato. So I should leave the July 22nd square. Ronyanta bola July 22nd ba e bato. And go to the navy immediately. Ngata bato sojaro la kordato wo no fongo tole. I went to the navy. Ntata bato sojaro la kordato. I first met Eric. Nimem folo benta ika folo Eric. Under the custody of the navy. Utumo abeba kuno sojaro lubulu mararing. I took excuse from the officers in charge. Na yamfo kani officer lubulu do kula lubulu menu marta ala utumo. That I was going to write his statement. Nanyi na foye kumbita la kumakango le safela. And I move with Eric. Ning Eric Tata wole nyama. To the major crimes. Kata major crimes wole mpolisi la ubunda ati menu ka kuja wolu no masata. Eric told me the story. Eric yela kuwa kalangu fonye. That he is part of the the migrants. Kwa ati fanambe wa uda ilale kono. And his two colleagues are behind. Andung akafunyo mamu fulolu bekoma. I went back to the Navy. Muruta kote ke kata bako no soja rola kordato. I still talk to the in charge, the man there. Membe mara rinje la kote ke ndia mutaye. I brought two of them. Ngo ulu mufulo ufananati. With Lamin Tunkara. Ining kamba no meng ikafaye Lamin Tunkara. Could you say that again? Apo kote ngeba. I went back to the Navy. Muruta bato soja rola kordato. I brought SCN. Nata ning Asian nata nyola. And Daniel. And in Daniel. With Lamin Tunkara. And in Lamin Tunkara. When you did that. Briye wake. Were they booked? For yela kuole safi la bang. Yes, they were detained at Banjul Police Station. Ah, ye sindi Banjul Police Korda bato. For some days. Ye tili danta ke wato. And I could remember on the 24th or 25th. 
hakilo ya mutat karoti limwani nani wala karoti limwani bulu brought up to major crime squad yenati bundala menketa kujaw balu no masata bundati and the entries were booked in the major crime squad diary and yela kulu safe major crime squad la buko nyin kono ike la kulu safe dame ka fo me diary and uh, if you see that diary again would you be able to recognize it what diary nyin wala ike la kulu police wala kele kele kulu safe dame do police station do ni o diary je ba suti la ba very well sir it was written by late sergeant do ha mba suti la kende ke tala sergeant do wala yo safe roke and uh, you would be able to recognize the entries and on safarol menu be je fana ibe sutelal yes sir ha he see he sign against all the entries i uh, assign le ka la signature ka bala wo menu be safeta je uh the mr chair the major crime diary is here with us uh, that was exhibited as exhibit 2203 Could you take a look at the document? Ni kaito ni buko djube ba. Is this the diary you are referring to? Ni buko diary la ba. Yes sir. This is this is the very diary. Ni nam diary fo mo nyineti. How do you how are you able to recognize it? Ni diary ni suti no nyadi la. When this diary was filled? Ri ni diary safe. The last page. Ah alera la ba ngoto. I exhibited the diary in my possession. The family diary nyin na ko lu safe na mararoto. I gave it to the investigators 2 days ago. Nata di kisikisir la la tilifula commando. Which investigators? Kisikisir la jumalo. The TRRC investigators. TRRC la kisikisir la lu. So you kept this diary. Mun day nyin diary nyin am ba tartete la maroko ya ma bo. It was on my possession. And the family ya maranu. Okay, we would come to the reasons why you kept this diary me now dalilo dalilo me ya sabu yeñ diary ta ya mara atarta mabori bul but uh, can you kindly go through the diary pare sila ñi diary ñi foy sa djube no la ba ya djube ko ko men ba and identify to us the entries that were made relative to these four people you mentioned ya djube bu ko ñi ko no djube foy be suuté role kala jela me yalla ko safaro ko tak men ka suuje ñi mo sabu la ko Yes, mm -hmm. Monani. Monani, sorry. Yes, they are entered here. Hi, philosopher Njang. Could you read out the entries the, and the date and time? Saferol membe je fay sa karano bang, adu ngoñi ani wato ñi, mon toro wato ñi. because they are not marked okay mm -hmm. uh, kuman yao eric daniel kuman yao eric kuman yao eric daniel amankwa daniel amankwa and robert essien and in robert essien are escorted are to the kuman yao eric kuman yao eric daniel amankwa and robert essien Kuman Yao Eric. Yes. Ah. But his real name is Eric Yao, Yao. Owusu Ansa. Yes. What am I talking about? Daniel Amankwa and Robert Essien. Ah, if you if you see this guy again 
Kuman Yao Eric, would you be able to recognize him? Yes, I'm Eric. Yes, sir. Ah. I, I, I was with them. Tell me about your name. When they are brought in by, I think, the human rights. Somewhere around Bakau. And I used to communicate frequently with Eric. On, on WhatsApp. WhatsApp Carola. Did you watch TRRC proceedings uh, day before yesterday? Very well, sir. Can they did you, who did you see? I have seen, I've seen Eric testify. How did he testify? He testified on Skype. Skype. So, so I've seen no, Martin also testified. So there's no mistake that we are referring to the same person. Yeah. So Kuman Yao Eric in your record is the same as Eric Yao also answer who testified. Yes, sir. So, and you have uh, uh, Daniel Amankwa uh, yes, and Robert Essen. Daniel Amankwa and Robert Essen. They are recorded in your register. You yes, mentioned Tunkara as well. Yes, Tunkara is also here. What's his full name? Ato Fololu. It's Mod Lamin Tunkara. Momodu Lamin Tunkara. Momodu Lamin Tunkara. Wole Mato Beti. Could you mark against the entries? Uh, just put an asterisk so that we can show the chairman and the commissioners. Eh, buko njenga na jeto hule beza fili ndamu nu. Marki roll kije ba isaji nsa tandi kiamu anola. Just an asterisk. so that we can just easily show the commissioners. And tell us about Modul Amin Tunkara. Silang, Modul Amin Tunkara fana na kuwa fanyaba? Modul Amin Tunkara was also detained. Modul Amin Tunkara fana ya fana muta leka sindijie. What was he detained in connection to? Ya ta sindijie la kile mbena, chokita mwene la. In connection to the same, the same thing. Ate wu kukili ngoye wu ebe muta wole la. Illegal migration. Oh, would I lal them with him men in Silo Manta? Illegal migration of who? Would I lal many uncle in Silo Manta, Purjumalia? Of the West African migrants. Like a Mofindula in Tiliji Banco Dingaluti. The same group that was apprehended from Bara. Kafu Kilimo Molme Alango Yolo Muda Bara Sadoko. Very well, sir. Well, a phone will. Thank you very much. Number of uh, And what happened to Tunkara? Munanaki Tunkara. Lamin Tunkara was received. As according to this diary, of only 25th July 2005, July 4th, 2005, Lamin Tunkara, a detainee, is received by Bamba Mane of the NIA. Mod Lamin Tunkara, between Bamba Mane, member NIA, wele ya ajia ni July 4th, 2005, that was 14:27 hours. Can you look at the first entry relative to the first entry about Modul Amin Tunkara? Is it, can you determine when he first came into the hands of the police? Because police major crime unit. Look at, look at, look from 22nd and 23rd. Yes, it's here. Have you seen it? Yes, I have seen it. Tell us which date and time. On the 23rd of July 2005. 2005, Sangokono. At 18.23 hours. Lamin Tunkara is escorted to detention. Lamin Tunkara ya dandang ka dundi mutokono. 
that is the first entry on this major crime diary. Wole kita alakuo safe follow the kadun the major crime la nying buko kono. Kindly take us through the entries concerning Lamin Tungara. Lamin Tungara, kuo member sugiring ala tool ala kuo la mensa fedha diary nying kono afonye nyibang bula nyo no maya afonye akera nyadi le. When he was received by Bamba Mane of the NIA. Grim Bamba Mane ya jia membe nung NIA. Bamba Mane returned Lamin Tunkara to Major Crime Squad at 15.35 hours. Bamba Mane ya Lamin Tunkara murundi nang Major Crime la bunda la. When? Talan sabah tambiru miniti tan sabah ni lulo la. When did Bamba Mane first receive him? Bamba Mane ya ta wati jumale followo. Bamba Mane first received him at 14.27 hours. Bamba Mane ya jia talan fula tambiru miniti muan ni ngoro ulo la tilibulo. And returned him? Aya murundi na wari juma. Only told him 15:35. Aya murundi na mbirin talan na ni dasata minute mu ani lulula. Just a little on for little under one hour. Munda mundro wari kilindro hole betema la sambu ana murundi aya murundi na waromen. And Mudla Mintungara is escorted to detention again. And the Mudla Mintungara dan dan kote keka samba mutoko no. With with Kuman Yao Eric Daniel. Atenin Kuman Yao Eric Daniel. No Daniel Amankwa. Daniel Amankwa. And Robert Essien. And Robert Essien. Mr. Chair. By 21:40. Eh, talang konon to talang tan dasaringo minute muang watu lo ye samba. Mr. Chair, this begs the question: whether the person arrested by Mr. Jalo at Westfield. Whether that person was in fact Lamin Tunkara. Because clearly, by this record, Lamin Tunkara was arrested by, by was, was at the Navy. Yes, sir. And was taken by him to the police together with the Ghanaians. And that's the reason why he is recorded in the diary. Yes. And that is why the NIA took him out and returned him to the police station on several occasions. So whether Mr. Jallo was mistaken, uh, we don't know. Whether he arrested a wrong person, we don't know. Or whether he may be mistaken as to the date of the arrest of Lamin Tukara, we don't know. But at the end of the day, all that would fizzle into insignificance uh, as the evidence unfolds, because we would be able to establish that Lamin Tunkara was last seen in the hands of state authorities. And, and that would be sufficient for the purposes of our inquiry. Noted, Council. Continue. Uh, could you? Uh, Indicate uh, the other entries about Lamin Tunkara. Eh, Lamin Tunkara, to ku alaku tani na dunni findo me ya kala fana ngi safro me ke bugol kono tol me tuja jewel fana mfanya ba. On the 26th July 2005. July karo til muan ni woro 2005. Mod Lamin Tunkara is released at large as instructed by the command. Yel Mod Lamin Tunkara bula ka abula eta ko kanti uluya fanya me. So you would see that the instructions were received, an order was received by them to release Modo Lamin Tunkara. And they released him and recorded that in the diary. Uh, do you know what happened to him afterwards? Uh, when Lamin Tunkara was released, Lamin Tunkara in a moment, as he promised his colleagues that he would bring them food, he called me that he was escorted by three plain clothes officers. I am commanded to have any call. Most of the bad and dangka me ya longko. Eh, wulu ima uniform dunde. Who took him to his room? Many a samba ala swoko no. They told the wife to stand at the veranda. Kala muso elo perengo koto. Who was pregnant at the time? Mutumu wo harjo bala be kono kono bala. They searched the whole of his house and took the money. He said the money was too much. That, did you hear from Lamin Tunkara again? Uh, 
in 2017 when I returned from mission. 2017, Birimbotan and Tamadula. I was approached by investigators from eh, abroad. Kisikisirla lufuta tamamenu botanam bantala. Who told me Lamentunkara was dead. Many are for Yanko Lamentunkara fatale. So, from the last telephone conversation you had with him in July, when he told you that plainclothes officers came to his, escorted him to his house and took away a large amount of money, you haven't heard from him since. Munda Brina and Yomu Labon Keta, July Karo Kono, Ko Akweko, E. Mulle Fele de Mea and Uncle Yen Tambindi, then Sambakang and Dung Walmar in my uniform more Dung. And we not had a la bunkono, ya la bunkono viste, ya yako ya ya ka ikala muso eko aweta lo peronkora e baruje ne a la bunkono viste kodi jama bakaron taraje ne watada. Bring up bota wala munta yaman fe mo ya la mintun karama kotangi. That's exactly what happens. Wale fango keta. You can you pass the diary, please, so so that we can show the commissioners the entries in the diary. Have you asterisked them? Yes, sir. La mintun karama is the last one. Okay. Can you can you open it from the from the starting page, the, the start. first page of this entry? It starts here. Okay. And then here. Okay. Received. Okay. Just open the first page. Okay. The commissioners can turn and the pages. Just see what it ah. Mr. Witness, you told the commission that you kept this diary with you. Yeah. Sedo yeye info commissione kwa njia diary njing atarete la Maroko na yama bo. Yes sir. Ha. Why did you keep the diary? Mnyea sabo yeye diary njia tayari yama bo ifanfe. The first reason why I kept the diary. Dali la follow me ya kwenye diary njia yama bo. Was for my own security. Wala munte fomo la kanto ni tanka dati. The other reason why I kept the diary. Dali la do mbije. Was because of the fact that the state was bent in covering up. All trace about the migrants. And I have seen diaries exhibited. So when this one was full, as I am the custodian, I kept it at home. So you kept this diary in order to preserve it. Basically, yes. Ah, uh, do you know why the government wanted to cover up? Because of the illegal uh, actions that happened to the Ghanaians. And the rest of the migrants. Because uh, immediately it happened, I think officers were delegated to go to Bara Station to find, out, to find out whether there had been records. So are you suggesting, was it only Bara they went to for the purposes of records? It had a Bara drone the Bambara police station of Pruka Jube, Safirol, Kaju, Safirol Jube. For the purposes of record, it's not only Bara. Pruka Jube for Safirol Ketala, Manke Bara Adam Mantide. Where else? Anim Minto, it had a diamond. Even Fatoto police station. It had a handful Fatoto police station auto. And where else, as far as you know? And Brusubi police station. And in Brusubi police station. So they went to Fatoto, they went to Bara and Bruce B. police station for diaries. What did they do with these diaries? I know the diaries were tampered. I would not say, be certain to say, <coughs> that those were the diaries exhibited at the headquarters. Ntafono la kuhulem diary uliti de yemenu finti de korda ba nyinto baringa nyinso nyinyi longo diary 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 ulusotonta le yemenu la kulo mai bulo mata menu la. I've seen that that is exhibited there. Na jele yolo yitandi je. Can you explain what you mean by you've seen the diaries exhibited there? Oi saafono komisongo ilo koto mumune di kafuko yaje inyala la kuhudiary ilta yefinti de yelafad kulkona. 
I have seen dial is kept in one office. The diary will be in Mabu office do kono. Then office of LS Sanya. Office of Kono Mayor Lanko LS Sanya na office of Lemoti nu. Then he was the CMC. But umo atelem CMC tinu. When was this? Ninkeda wati juman. I knew about this uh, during when Molamin Cesar was tasked to investigate about uh, the issue of the American brothers and the uh, and chief money. Mbota nyin kalama wato me ye Molamin Cesar sasi. Kaya mola kuwa kisi kisi mengeta wa badi malti Amerika aning Chief Ibrahim Amani la kuwa. In fact, I told him that some diaries are exhibited. Nte fangle ya fanya kuhun diary o dolo soto ntele de menu la kuwa yita ndita. And this investigation might be very crucial because you might not have the proper records. Ah, nyin kisi kisi ro dun kumaya ase keno kusafiri ngulu menu tonyati ite o soto nola. Why did you say that to him? Mane ya zabu ite o fae. Because the diaries were kept. But why did you say this to him? But why did you say this to him? But why did you say this to him? Just to, uh, to let him know that he might not find anything. Did you have a suspicion? Uh, the suspicion, the only suspicion I have was the diaries were kept. So bi tamen na je drongo le mnyinti kwa yadara ni uluni li ye mabole. But that was not a suspicion. That is something that you knew. You had actual knowledge of it. Oma kesi sabo ti. Omo mu kule ni mialo ngo yelo ndo sura kwa njia kona. Actually no. Na alone. The government might not want to malamin to see. Ah, na asikeno falango ngani longo mansa kunda te lafila modlamin ibe mengi ningang a pura kana je. Those records of what he is investigating. I know that was the reason why the diaries were exhibited. Uh, uh, did we use the word exhibited? What do you mean? We are kept. Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay. By L.S. Sanyang, CMC. Oh. He was not the one who kept it. It was kept in his office. He was the custodian. Amanke kwa tefangole ye mabo de bari ye sambala official to ye mabo ji. Who would have done that? Uh, that would, would be done through instructions. Probably the, the, the investigator at Barra Station would tell you who, who instructed them. Okay, you, which diaries did you see? I did not confirm the diaries. Ma atonya yandi de jumanyo diary jumanyo lemu. I suspected there are diaries from Fatoto, Bara. But in sobita ko diary ole member ta Fatoto animbara. And probably Bruce. And runga seke fanang Bruce bi. Why would you suspect these ones? Mane ya zabu isobita nyina. Because these diaries would entail. Atu nyin diary ole be itandiro kelale. Proper records of the migrants. Mkuu menu safeta ni wuda ila la kuoto a safeta ni mimi. For bara. For bara. And photo do for chief mane. Ani mfoto do for chief mane la kuo. And Bruce B for the American brothers. Ani Bruce B for o badi malu menu kete American ulti. Do you have any information regarding what entries might be in the Bruce B diary regarding? The American brothers. Oh, so what sort of a monk? Kuma can you let us do a diary? You know, many are long ago. Well, a diary, but a Bruce B. Maybe so you know, American body, my full or in the Bruce B diary. Bruce B diary, you know, that would be my job. And it was, it would see it. Okay, I'm my job. And it was easy that he could. I think one Mr. Fatty. No, I'm a car for me. Mr. Fatty complained to Bruce B station. I was it a Bruce B station auto. That he did not see his tenants. Go among ala luntango luje. The house was left open. Bungeni yon tuta yelering. And scattered. And dum fengo lube janjan dinje. You mean ransacked? Ransacked yes. Amunda ye fengo lube janjan dinje. And but what would that mean? Oh, koro mumuneri. He 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 wanted an investigation to find out what had happened to them. Alafanum kisikisirola, puru isalong, mane ketanyilula. 
And uh, where did he report the matter? The matter was reported at Brusubi Police Station. Akonying ya akibaro di Brusubi Police Station olela. How do you know that? I came to know that. I am at the headquarters. Nata bwa kala malikato tu montele mbe police korda ba. Came to know that when Malamin was tasked. Nata longwato me ye Malamin sasi. Be part of that investigation. Right, thara o kisi kisi ro kono. Do you know? To form a report. Rasi kibaro safe. The delegates yes to come. Puro luntango lume lubinala. Did he see the diaries? For a diary ni njela ba. I was not part of the investigation. Mantara kisi kisi ro njing kono de. I don't know whether he had seen it. Malom fa ya jele. But when you told him about the diaries in uh, CMC LS Sanyang's office, did he go to check them? Yes. Did he go to check them? Yes. Did he go to CMC LS office or for other Yes. He had ah. gone to check them. Ah, Tata le puru kei jube. He came back and confirmed to me. Na tamuru nanga na tanyin tonya yandi nte yeko. That you are right, I've seen those diaries. Tonya langa o diary olu jele. And what would be the significance of the Fatoto diary? The Fatoto diary would be the entries of Chief Mane. Fatoto diary ning wobeke la kuleti menu safe Chief Mane la kuluto. Who had been detained there for a while? Me ya longo ya fana muta ya sindi ya watike ibulo konoje. Do you know where the Chief Mane has been seen seen again? Me ya longo na fo Chief Mane fo ajeda la kutenge ba. No sir. Honey. What was the reason, as far as you know, what was the reason for these diaries to be brought to CMC's office? Muna ndalilo ti kome ni ni atra ya alon dalilo me ya sabu ni diary liye na ti CMC la office oro. Like my IG had explained yesterday. Go IG ya fanya mengkunung. The station diary is the record of all activities. Tesono la diary wole mpulu menu beta matajeke safe kitabo mbala. That happened at the station. Mekulu menu kataje. So those diaries will be kept. O diary olu isi mabo. To hide trace of entries of those passes. Uru isi amabo jen kama kwebe menu la kujube kang mokana ije. Did, are you aware of any efforts being made during that time, 2005 onwards? Oh. To, to disappear entries in diaries. For ya lo ne bang ya kala mura lo kuku kato kuku fere dala bo waro la 2005 song kono puru kato kule fere puru ka nyin diary ka diary odo liye ma de 2005 song kono. Keeping the diaries are part of them. The diary olu nyilu ma bo ofa mo dabe kolo kono le. But as a police or senior police officer serving there at the time, did you hear anything about what was going on with diaries? But to my knowledge, I'm not police. Keep all the word or a jero. For you, come come away. Let me along. What was the situation in diary? Let go. Let me. I heard from personnel of Bara Station then. Now, my do kula lo. Let me no be Bara Police Station or Otumo. That entries of the migrants. Go. I am kulu me no safe ni uda ilal la kuoto. We are. I don't know. Turn. Torn out or were erased? Ah, ako aseke ye kaito luni li farale buko kono wala ye la kulu tutu. Did they tell you how that was done? Ifo ya fanya woke no ranyadi laba. No. Ani mau fanya. Okay, thank you very much. Inumbara ba ke? We, I'm, I want to believe you have seen yao Eric yao also answer otherwise. Kuman Yao Eric, you've seen him testify. Yes. Lapa la la njina la koye Emmanuel au Eric 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 yaje la bese dando diga. Yes sir. Ah. He told the commission that he was taken upstairs and tortured by Sergeant Dur. Ako ya samba Santo bunjango Santo andu ya tajire yaje andu meyo kala wale msajim Durti. I was surprised that Eric mentioned that. Ake danya tere makoti bring Eric go for. But I didn't dispute him. Because he has mentioned about being electrocuted. I had wanted to ask him. Uh, but I did not ask him. But when he mentioned about being electrocuted, I was thinking that probably the NIA came there. Then took him out in the night. Sa fundin di suto la. 
and did that to him. But because Sergeant Dur was the station officer at the time, Sergeant Dur could, could be present. But during the attack, Sergeant Dur could could be present. Sergeant Dur sima be no leje. But during the time of detention at the police headquarters, but the watcher may be mutoko no police headquarters. They were not tortured. Man kuke leje. Well, he said they were taken upstairs in the night. Well. He did not mention the time. Oh, yeah, that was the, Sando, Sando. Sando. Because police don't Sando. have Sando. Uh, anything to execute anybody. And then uh, major crime squad closes by uh, 1,600 hours. Uh, police about police major crime But you do la not rule out the possibility la that la that la 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 the, the, the foreign delegates who came to me in 2017 did not tell me that. But I, did, I did not dispute the fact. Because I knew these migrants had gone a lot of things. A lot of things. Probably they wanted him because Lamin, 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 Lamin Tunkara was received to the NIA. Probably they wanted Eric to confirm to them that he is part of the migrants. And that might warranted the torture. That's why I didn't dispute it. But while in police custody, he never told you anything like that. He didn't tell me. Neither did he told the uh, the investigators. And you wouldn't me. know. That. I wouldn't know. They, they, they didn't tell me anything about it. But did you see anything on him which suggests that he might have gone through beatings, torture, and so on? So no, not at all. Honey, woman. How about on the two others, Robert Essien and Daniel Amankwa? I've never seen any physical marks on them. They didn't tell me that they were tortured. We communicate uh, uh, all the time. The, it looks like there's been corrupt practices at the police in trying to cover up uh, government dealings with the migrants to the extent that they were falsifying diaries. Uh, do, are there corrupt cops who would do such things in the police? Police I would say officers had done this under instructions from the probably the then Inspector General of Police. Who was that? Usman Sonko. Usman Sonko. If uh, other police officers are called, probably. They will clear the facts that they were being instructed. And they can testify to their actions. And Such as who? The Bara CID. Bara CID. And who would that be? Uh, probably Babu Babu Karba. Babu Karba. Babu Karba. And who else? Uh, the, probably the station officer on Bara can also testify. Station officer member from Bara or Tumo Finance said they are okay. No, who would that be? Well, no, I didn't know. And uh, more Mary Long. You've mentioned more Lamin Sisi as a person who was tasked to do with these investigations. You more talk with them. We call for me more Lamin Sisi. Go, you will assess in a book and in Kisiku or Kisikisi. You would be aware of any any cover-ups. Yeah, yes, very well. 
Thank you very much. I have no further questions for the witness. In Barabake, Manyin Karakotan Sodaji Sedoe. Thank you, Council, and thank you, Mr. Cham, for coming to testify before the Commission. Inumbara Council, Inumbara Mr. Cham, is on Takana Sedero La Commission on Yatimula. Commissioners, if you have any questions, may I please indicate? If none, uh, Mr. Cham, do you have any brief concluding remarks to make? Where the Commissioner Mumanin in Carsoto, between Mr. Cham, if I'm near Commissioner Elf and Mel Landilla, Carbanke, a CFO. Thank you, Chairman. Inumbara Chairman. Thank you, Commissioners. Al Nimbara Commissioner. I would only advise my serving colleagues Mbeya Maro Mendila Nyondo Kula Lula Nimenu Bedu Kono that they should be extra careful. Isi Hakilo to Kende Kendeke. No one knew at the time that TRRC was coming. Watembo Mo Malon Nunko TRRC Bina. If I had known TRRC was coming, Ningalon Nunko TRRC Bina Lale, I was going to redouble my efforts. Mbena Katakulu Lafala Lenun Kendeke. I'm also. Uh, Advising my colleagues, Ben Kafunyo Lundo Kunyo Luya Marla Kok, who would sit on this seat of judgment, Menu Vesila Nin Tilumutonia Bundal, on this seat, Nin Sirangokang, you are being judged whether you are truthful or not. Ebe Contibola, the Foy Tonya for Walla Montonia. So I would also advise them, Mbeya Marla Woto Kanko, when they come here, they speak the truth. Memen Nata Jang is it Tonya for. Thank you, sir. Inumbara, sir. Thank you very much indeed. Um, uh, very wise um, uh, and uh, good um, uh, remarks, Mr. Cham. Inumbara Bake, ye ya marikende badi, menketa ya marikendolti, ya marinyame ndingo. Abarka Bake, Mr. Cham. And we thank you for your effort um, to come here to um, assist us in fulfilling our mandate. Ne numbara la, isonta kamuruna njang, puruka ndema, ye kangome ndintola, puruka tenteng, puruka wakangoti mandi. Thank you very much. You are released. Abarka, so we continue Islam. with... Uh, the next witness, oh. the next witness ready. Oh, I would ask that we take the 30 minutes break now uh, and then we sort out the issue of the next witness. Okay, fine. Thank you. Thank you very much and uh, we will resume at 11.30. Meeting is adjourned.